it's a mess in here. Usually I like clean after every project, but today I just feel like getting started, so. Honestly, this video is long overdue. I had meant to film it a long time ago, but I got super busy. Art Impressions sent me a few products and these really caught my eye. There's the flip card die, and I wanted to make this for a long time, but they give you the dies, they give you a couple different words in here, but then they also give you tons of instructions. So we're gonna be following those to make a flip card today. Here is kind of what one looks like and they've designed some stamp sets to work perfectly with it. So um, here is, what are these? I think they're hogs. I'm gonna guess they're hogs. Um, they're like the little Lion King like, character, which I love. So they got front and back images and then sentiments to go along with it, which I think is super fun. So I'll link all the products I use in today's video down below in the description if you wanna use those links to support me. But in today's video, I wanted to use that flip card die with the Dudes 2 stamp set because right when I pulled it out of the package, I had the perfect idea with this. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. I tried making one of these a long time ago, but it was very difficult and was kind of iffy when it turned out. So I love when companies give dies like this with instructions so you can even mass produce this card or make it super easily if you want to. Okay, the first instruction is cut a six and a half by five and a half panel of cardstock. So I'll grab a piece of stark white cardstock. This is my super bright white cardstock that's great for inking and is super smooth. So I'm gonna do, what did it say, six and a half? So we'll go, I think it's right there. There's six and a half. And then we'll do five and a half. Okay, so I've got my piece of cardstock. Now step two is die cut with flip card die so it ends up at three and one fourth, bisecting the six and a half inch side and use a grid mat, which is a good tip to ensure that both sides are even. So what I'm gonna do is I'm using the station actually, which is really nice. So what I can do is magnet it down to make sure that it stays in place. So it's basically like an extra hand, which I love. And then you've got one inch, two inches, three inches and one fourth right there. So this, these lines are just gonna help make sure that it's even on both sides. I'll grab my purple tape, and then I can just hold that down and make sure that I line this up evenly. I'll tape it down, and then this is ready to go right through my die cutting machine. Okay, so with the die, it actually scored lines over here and then it cut this center part out. So this makes it super simple. Um, those scored lines are really nice, but all I'm gonna do is just go over them quickly and this is just gonna make sure we get a really nice clean fold. They can't go too deep with those score lines, otherwise it might cut. So having them in there is a great guide though. And then we can go in and just fold them down. You don't need to use a bone folder, but I find that that sometimes helps with lines like that. And there we have our fun flip card. That was super simple to create with those instructions. I really loved that. Okay, so for the front of this, I'm gonna do a little bit of ink blending. I want to put a dude right here on the card, so we're gonna focus it more in this bottom area. I'm gonna start out with a little bit of slippery when wet, which is kind of that bright yellow color that I have in my line. I'm gonna start off the cardstock and I just wanna kind of fade it in. And then I want to bring it on the card and then fade it out to white, kind of near the top. So I'll go in with my color here. And then it's super easy to blend with the Simon Hurley inks and fade them out as you just don't even need to grab any more ink. You can just kind of keep moving your blending tool around until that color runs out there. That I'll go in with a little bit of beasting as well. This is the red. And these blend super nicely on here. I'm sure you guys have heard that a million times from me, but even if you have like harsh marks at the beginning, it's super easy to blend from color to color. And in between there, it's gonna make a new color. So you get kind of a little bit of orange in there, which I think is so much fun. So I'm just gonna blend that. I'm going to go in with Remember Me, which is this dark blue color. Everybody seems to absolutely love this color, which I think is awesome. I think it's a really beautiful kind of teal blue color. So I'm going to go in next to Bee Sting with it. And here it's gonna create a little bit of a purple color. So I did these colors purposefully in this order. So it creates new colors in between that are just beautiful. 
So again, we're gonna fade it out to white at the top here. I always wanna grab a little bit more ink, but if you want it to fade out, you want to just continue using that same ink that you have on your blending tool and kind of fade it out on the surface there. And then I'll go in with overzealous to finish it off because I always use red, yellow, and blue, so it would be no surprise for that, but I wanted to include a little bit of green as that's gonna blend with Remember Me really nicely to create another beautiful color here. So I'm just going to go in, bring that color up, and then again fade out kind of on the edge as well. And of course, I'm gonna bring a little bit of water in here. Like always, you could totally leave it as it is. It's a really nice blend, but I want to do some water effects like I always do. So I've seen everybody using this star stencil as a galaxy kind of effect, but one thing I really love it for is kind of confetti, almost like a party kind of confetti, which I love. So I'm gonna bring this star stencil in, just place it right down there on my card. And then I'll go in with my Distress Sprayer and I'm going to just spray lightly over the top of all this. And I don't wanna to spray too much, just enough to cover that because if you spray a little too much, it can seep underneath the stencil. So there we go, we have those really fun stars and as it kind of seeps into the paper, it'll react and react with those inks and create some really cool watercolor effects. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of ink to the inside here and I want to block off this portion from getting any ink onto it. So I'll just put another piece of stark white cardstock into there and then we can start our ink blending. And I'm gonna put a dude kind of over in this area and down here I think as well. So on the inside, I'll start out with a little bit of overzealous over in this area. And I'm just going to, again, bring that onto the cardstock and start blending it. And for this, we're working on a much smaller area here. So I'm just bringing my blending tool in and we're gonna make kind of little spots of colors for the dudes to sit on. And again, you can see it, some of those harsh marks at the beginning, but they definitely tone down as you keep going over the inks. The inks are super buttery and smooth. Even though they dry fast on the cardstock, they definitely blend out really nicely. And then I'm going to go in with Slippery and Wet and blend that out. So it's just the same colors that we used on the front. However, here, I'm just doing them in smaller groupings rather than mixing them all together. And we're leaving a little bit of white space in the center there. So I'm just blending this out to white by not dipping it back into the ink. So for the outside, we did those stars. For this inside portion, I just wanna do a little bit of misting. So in this distress sprayer, if you just move the trigger just a little bit rather than fully down, you can get just little droplets here and there, which I think is another really cool effect. So once it kind of starts to react there, I can go in and dab off some color. And that's just gonna bring the cardstock back to kind of a lighter version of that color, which I really like. So then once I pull this piece of cardstock out, we have that perfectly ink blended section on the inside and the outside, which I just love. Okay, so now let's stamp some of the images from the Dudes 2 stamp set. By now, most of you guys probably already know about this, but if not, there's three separate heads in the Dudes 2 stamp set and different bodies, so you can kind of customize it with all these little pieces to kind of fit whoever you're giving the card to, which I think is super awesome. And there's not tons of masculine sets in the industry, so this one's tons of fun. Okay, so to stamp this down, I'm going to grab the body first. I'm going to stamp it down with some archival ink because we're going to be watercoloring later. I'm going to just ink this up. And then I can stamp it right down onto the surface, give it some nice pressure, and then I'll apply the head on my acrylic block ink it up and then for the head image I like to get really low with my image so I can see right through the acrylic block it's pretty easy to do if you're at eye level with it and then I'm just going to stamp it down on my image make sure it's nice and lined up and then give it really good pressure to stamp down and there we have our fun image okay so I've cut my three dudes out that I want and of course you can interchange their heads however you want to and I've also cut out a gift and a birthday hat and we're going to go in with my reinker pens and color these in like I usually do I'll leave a link on screen on how to make these with your Simon Hurley create reinkers so much fun and they're really great for coloring especially on the go but even in your craft room um, if you want to do something similar to that and you just have my ink pads another thing you could do is smoosh them onto your craft sheet and then you can pick them up using a water brush that's just full of water so this is going to give you a very similar effect but the cool part about this 
is you can just keep going with it and then it'll eventually go back to clear and you can switch between whatever color you want. So whether you want a dedicated brush to each color and keep refilling them with your reinkers, which is a super awesome way to create your own brush pens, or if you want to go a little bit more cost effective and get one brush for all the colors, it's up to you. Okay, so this guy on the front, I'm going to just add him down and I put him on lots of foam tape there so it's popped up off the card. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and cut off any remaining, because he's kind of hanging off the card. I like this one because it's got his arms and it looks like it's like kind of sitting there. Okay, so for this, let's add a little bit of adhesive runner onto here. And for the inside of this card, we want it to all be laying down flat since it's going to be closed in on. But what I love about these flip cards is the inside is just as important and fun as the outside, which I think is super cool. So I'm just going to lay that down and then I don't want to have any adhesive on here because I want to make sure that opens up nicely. I usually would grab an adhesive eraser because I have one and that works really nicely. But all I'm going to do is just use my finger and kind of run it along here. And as you run your finger along, it's going to kind of dirty up that tape and remove it from the surface, which is totally what we want. And then I'll add a little bit of adhesive to this gift and we'll add that right down on to the card there. And then I'm going to put this guy kind of hanging off here and we want enough room for the hat to go right on his head without having to be folded or anything. And then again, anything that hangs off the edge on here, I'm just going to go in and cut it right off because we want everything on the outside of the card to look flush with the rectangle shape of the card. Now the card's almost finished and it's sentiment time, but this is no time to play games since we spent a lot of time on this card. So for the sentiment, I'm going to be definitely using the Misty stamping tool. Here I brought in my mini Misty. I'm just going to put it right into here. So up here, I've just lined up the sentiment, hey dude, and I've actually written that in my own handwriting for the stamp set, which is so much fun. And then I'm going to go in here, and then I can go in here with my archival ink, and again, just ink up this stamp, and it's no time to mess around, so that's why I love the Misty stamping tool, especially when it gets to, down to the last step like this, because then we can make sure that we can stamp it more than once, rather than accidentally mistaking and then having to redo it or touch it up. So you can see it didn't stamp perfectly there. So I'm able to go right back in with more ink and ink it up a little bit better this time. And there we go. We have a really dark and solid crisp image there. Okay, then I flipped it to the inside of the card and I'm going to do the From All of Us sentiment and it actually fits like perfectly in that little area and this is kind of the area where the sentiment is meant to be but I overlapped lots of images over it so I can definitely just put the happy birthday a little bit above it like this and I absolutely love that from all of us sentiments so you can send it from a group of people or your whole family which is really versatile so then I can lift that up I'll ink it all up and then I can stamp it right down onto my card 
Okay, so here is a finished look at the card. It's super simple on the outside with lots of color and ink blending. And then when you flip it to the inside, it's got these two little fun dudes in here. So I love how easy this was to put together with that die. Um, it really makes it super simple. Um, but the first time I made this without the die, it was kind of really difficult and did not work nearly as smooth. So I'll leave links down below to all the products that I used in today's video. And I'm tired. I have not made a card this detailed with all that coloring in a while. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. As much as I enjoyed creating it, it was tons of fun to sit down and color and do a little bit of ink blending to create a more interactive card in today's video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss another video like this one. Leave a comment down below. I cannot wait to chat with you guys down there and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And without further ado, I'll see you all very soon for another card making and crafting video. And I hope you all have an awesome day. Bye.